Muni lovers, uh, welcome back to the opening of Sweeney Todd, the Muni debut of this amazing show here in our magic-filled 51st season in 2016. I'm Jeremy Geckner, and I am here with the director of this massive production, Miss Carly Chang. <laughs> Thank you, Carly, for being here. My pleasure. So, uh, Sweeney Todd, I think you have to be a special kind of sadistic to direct a Sondheim show. <laughs> I, you know, I think that's true. At first, you know, the commentary among the lay people is more about, you know, this demon barber. <laughs> And, the, oh, yeah. and cutting people up and making them into pies, but that's really not a challenge at all compared to the intricacies of Sondheim's score. Oh my gosh! And is it, well, like you know, I've asked off, obviously all the actors about bringing that to life. Like, what what have you specifically been working with them on trying to like make these lyrics shine and everything that makes Sondheim such a genius? Well, I think more than anything, it's been a lot of talking through it. You yeah. know, when you're rehearsing something, you dissect it a little bit, and so we come up with those reasons why <laughs> now why this terrible lyric why this terrible <laughs> melody line oh this is what that melody line is trying to accomplish from a character perspective and that oh, yeah. helps us learn it a little bit more and uh, sure. helps move it all forward it's just amazing what he can do with a score and you know specifically with this there's a lot of heavy subject matter here what's it been like trying to kind of balance like the depressing parts of the show with some of the more lighter <laughs> stuff well, um, I hope we've managed to do that mm -hmm. pretty well. Um, I think at its heart, uh, you know, the story of Sweeney Todd is a story about the human condition, which is what I love about theater yeah. is because is the way that theater sheds light on all of the aspects of being human. Yes. And um, here we've got this fantastical legend of a story, a dark, dark story, but it shows something that we're all capable of yeah. which is having some real anger and and holding a grudge and, and seeking revenge and it was that element of the story of Sweeney Todd that first attracted me to Sweeney Todd and I um, really love that in this show the convention is set up that we're not these people, we are storytellers. Yes, we start yes. out with even Sweeney in the first number speaking <laughs> yeah. of himself in the third person. Because yeah. I don't think we quite want to be there. I don't think we quite want to feel like we would ever be capable yeah. of the things that Sweeney and others in the show do. And it's not all dark, you know, there we have a love story. We have we have moments of hope. You know, you talk about this is such one of Sondheim's probably is his most popular show. Um, of course, an Academy Award-nominated movie that came out of it. Uh, what's it been like, kind of trying tempering those expectations? Like, have you told? <laughs> did you tell him it was okay to watch other versions, or did you want him to stay away? You or? know, I do. I watch other versions, and I kind of leave it up to the actors in terms of how much they want to explore with sure. other versions. My way of directing is typically to watch actors make choices the first time we work a scene. Yeah and then to respond to those choices mm -hmm. and say, I really like that. I wasn't sure what you were doing here. Tell me what you were thinking about okay. what you were doing here. And then as they respond to me, usually their intention is right on. And yes. I say, oh, I get what you were doing. Okay, that's not working though. Yeah. So let's, <laughs> let's get that same intention and here's how we can carry it off on stage. And I think there's a, a certain element that people think, oh, it's, it, it's a real singer's show. Well, it's a musician's show. Yeah, and you have yeah. to really spend time learning this show. <laughs> um, and, and that doesn't mean that, you know, you have to have this grand opera voice. You just have to be able to sing the rhythms that Sondheim wrote for your character. <laughs> exactly how they are. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm telling you. Uh, so this is amazing to me that this is the first time this show is being done on the Muni stage. Um, Quite shocking to me that nobody's gotten to it first, uh, like, you know, before this. Um, you know, when people are leaving this stage, seeing Sweeney Todd at the Muni for the first time, what do you hope that they are bringing with them? This is the right venue for me, for Sweeney Todd, and I'm so glad that the Muni made that commitment to it. Um, the way I feel about Sweeney Todd, um, I, there are surprises in Sweeney Todd, and as I was speaking about earlier, what you learn about the human condition or what is discussable after the show yeah. about the human condition. And I hope those are the discussions on the car ride home. You know, again, no spoilers. No, no. <laughs> Not but saying what happens. I, I hope that, that we have laid out this story in such a way that 
can inspire some of those discussions on the way home. Well, I'm certain that you will. Carly, thank you. Break a leg in thank your you. room. Thank <laughs> you.